Christmas time. I went to the fucking Grove. You've been to the Abercrombie at the Grove? You admit, it's like a gay haunted house in there, isn't it, man? It's fucking dark. They're playing techno, isn't it? I'm scared. I'm turning down aisles. They got fucking jeans and like caskets and shit. The gay guys just like fucking freaking fags. Just like standing there. And lights and shit over them. Can I help you? No, I'm good. I'm good. Count dick a lot. I'm good over here, man. That was scary, man. Abercrombie. That fucking place makes me nervous. They had a mural, did you see the mural on the wall? Two blonde 17 year old guys in underwear fishing. <laughs> Who the fuck fishes in the tidy whities man? You got jeans all over this goddamn place. <laughs> you don't even sell tidy whities what the fuck kind of ad is that? I think I'm catching a big one today. The other guy's like, you already did, girl. <laughs> I heard fucking Christmas rap rappers need to quit fucking with Christmas songs. On the way here, I heard Jingle My Balls. I'm like, man, yeah, it's wrong. You don't fuck around with a Christmas song, Jingle My Balls. Come on. You go to hell for like a Jingle My Balls, man. You can't say that about Santa Claus. The rapper's like, Solid night, now you a hoe tonight. So back that ass up and let me hit it just right, girl. Jingle my balls, jingle my life. Wow, was that K-Fan? What the fuck is that shit? That was some bullshit right there. Uh, put my journey back on. Fuck that shit. Put my journey. Maddie, missed it last week. I was talking about fucking journey for like two hours just because I think I'm like got a gay love thing for Steve Perry, man. I see him. He's got the prettiest voice ever, didn't he, your journey? Just a small time. I'll fucking pull my pants down, man. Like, I can't help it, man. That shit was pretty. <laughs> Even when he had a mustache for a little while, I'm like, Steve, that's a little gay, bro, but I'm still with you, man. I, I saw an old video. I swear to God, he had leopard skin, fucking spandex, and a vest. And I was like, you rock those fucking leopard skin, Steve. Just a small town, girl. That's my shit. Like, what the fuck? Who am I to judge? It was the age. I had a fucking mullet. What am I talking about, man? Just a blow dry, just the back of my mullet. Just the fucking back part. That looks good. That looks good right there. Shit, it's tight. <laughs> just a small time, yeah. That was my shit. <laughs> Christmas kids today are spoiled. They're getting like fucking Xboxes, like $300 a game. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I was poor. I didn't get an Xbox. I got a cardboard box when I was a kid, man. <laughs> Had to use my imagination. They don't fucking... Uh, kids are like, where the fuck you plug this in? I don't know where you plug it in. <laughs> my mom was like, it's a uh, fucking power chip. It's a four, whatever. Fuck, well, just go play. Leave me alone, goddammit. <laughs> go in the backyard. Fucking... Your PlayStation's in the backyard, fucker. Right there. That fence, that's your fucking PlayStation. Don't get out of the fucking PlayStation. It's a cardboard box, fucker. You stay right out there. <laughs> The box would get all fucked up and I'd duct tape it to the floor and be like, I break dance floor. Oh shit. <laughs> Just a small time. That's my shit. Kids are there, pussies, they're wearing helmets on their bikes. I need a helmet, I might fall on That's so gay, man. I fucking, if I was a kid, I saw a fucking kid with a, with a helmet, I'd throw a rock at him. He would need a fucking helmet. Taking the short bus, fucker, riding around with a fucking helmet in my neighborhood. <laughs> Stupid fucking helmet on the bike. We used to jump trash cans in the middle of the fucking street. Remember that? that? Fucking helmet, that's gay. I don't want a fucking helmet. They used to get racked up every day. I don't give a fuck. I mean. Remember that shit when you get racked up and you didn't want your friends to know you? No, I'm good, man. I'm good. I Fucking liar. Bullshit. <laughs> we were poor. My mom used to have Tupperware parties. Did your mom ever have Tupperware parties? She'd try to make a little side action. She had fucking ladies over and shit. I'd say, oh, I'm a pimp tonight, man. Look at all these ladies up in this bitch, man. The trailer's gonna be rocking tonight, motherfucker. I put on some Barry White shit, turn the music down. What's up, ladies? What's up? 
I come out of my robe out of my bedroom. What's up, ladies? How you doing? Got any some Kool-Aid? Was it two grapes and a strawberry? Got gotcha, you good. You good? Mama's gonna be out in a minute. What's up, where you? ladies? You good? <laughs> my mom would come out and have the Soul Train line going. Oh shit! What's up? I don't know if that's a soul train or anything. Electric slide, what the fuck that was? I don't know what that was. My mom was like, Stevie, get your ass in your room play with your dolls. I'm like, G.I. Joe's an action figure, bitch! Why are you trying to cockwalk me like that, Mom? <laughs> Donna would come out and kick my ass, man. Just, just, I have a gay sister, I won't even... Serve you. They've heard that 900 times. It's around. 